Heihachi Mishima is the king of iron podcasting. This episode, Heihachi sits down with his son Kazuya Mishima to discuss various things that haven't been heard before. What tales will we hear from the G Corporation leader? Find out on the king of iron podcasting. All right, all right. Welcome, everybody, to the King of Iron Podcasting. I am, of course, your host, Heihachi Mishima, professional dead man, wife abuser, and, of course, child abuser. Now, of course, those aren't good accolades for someone like me, a character like me to have. But there's one thing that separates um, all those accomplishments from the rest, is that I am the King of Iron Fist. Surely... A lot of you should recognize that I am a strong man. Now, I have been given the green light to announce that I'm going to be taking on my good friend, Geese Howard, on April 18th on Death Battle. I have been training for a while now, and hopefully it pays off. All right, enough talking about that. It's about time I introduce my guest today. He is my son, the devil himself. Kazuya Mishima. You forgot to mention the fact that I killed you. Uh, we already know. Welcome, son, onto my podcast. I would like to first ask you a question. And I think a lot of people have been wondering, what were your thoughts on the death battle with Ryu and Jin? Because a lot of people really, you know, they saw that battle, and my first question was, why the hell did they include Power of Nothingness? That kind of made things unfair for the, that battle in particular. What, what did you think? Well, I think it's pretty obvious that the Ryu versus Jin death battle was super biased. And in my opinion, obviously they were leaning towards the Street Fighter series a lot more than Tekken. Because obviously Street Fighter is more popular than us. And... It didn't really make any fair sense, and the logic behind it is absolutely stupid. In terms of power, Jin's Devil Gene and Ryu's Satsui no Hado, like it should have been just Ryu and Jin fighting in their normal states, right? Yeah. And it should have been a square off between Devil Jin and Evil Ryu. That's how it should have been. But no, they just pull out the power of nothingness. And that was it. Like that was the that was the draw. That was the the card they played, and that's what made Jin lose. And it was stupid. It didn't make any sense. It wasn't a good way to end off the fight. It was a terrible outcome. And I think Screw Attack was super biased towards Ryu because he's the more popular character. And it didn't make any sense to me. It watching that thing. I didn't even want to react to it because that was so dreadful to watch all that being put in. And obviously the outcome that happened really disappointed me. And it's not Jin's fault. He was directed, you know, he got the call from Screw Attack. They were like, hey, you know, you're going to be fighting Ryu, but he's going to ha he's going to have the power of nothingness. And props to Jin for being a good sport and actually going through with it even though he himself hated the outcome. And I, I did too. Like, that was one of the only times I was like, this is not fair, this is stupid. Jin should have won. I was on Jin's side that entire time. And for a good reason. Jin should have won that death battle. Yeah, they really screwed him over. I was very disappointed myself watching the whole thing. And I, I just got the call a week ago from them saying, you're going to fight Geese Howard. I, I'm, I'm ready. I've been ready. For a while now to fight Geese Howard. You know, fighting Akuma, it was good. He's really strong. Really strong opponent. But Geese is someone that I can really relate to in terms of power, in terms of strength. And I'm ready to fight him on April 18th. Like, he is... It's going to be amazing. And I want you all to watch it. And I want you and Jin to pay close attention, Kazuya. Because the outcome... May not be what you think this time. Yeah, you, you better not hand us another loss or I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> oh, don't don't you worry. I will make sure I give it my all just like I gave to Akuma and you. Like, I'm gonna give it my all. You, you better. Can, can you tell us the outcome? No, I can. That is... 
That is top secret information, Kazi. I can't even tell anybody that's close to me, so you just gotta find out on April 18th. You know, Kazi, speaking of death battle, the question that's out there that's gonna be people are gonna be asking is who's Kazuya gonna go up against? Because Jin faced Ryu, I'm fighting Geese, who who does Kazuya Mishima think a worthy opponent is? Like who's who is your death battle opponent? Who do you think it should be? Oh, uh, well, there's there's a lot of challenging opponents out there from all across different universes and stuff, but um the three that come to my mind, hmm, you got a guy like Yori Agami from the King of Fighters, the same place Geese came from. I've met him during the uh, KOF All-Stars collaboration, and he seems like a very fitting opponent for me. Another guy is, uh, I'm sure you heard of him, Sega's Kazama Kiryu from the, the Yakuza series. He's very skilled, he's someone who can hold his own. And a lot of people would say Akuma as well. Uh, would like to see me and Akuma duke it out. But then again, that's going to be not really fair because it'll probably end up like the way uh, Ryu and Jin did. And that's them playing the Street Fighter bias card. And I don't want to look like an idiot in front of the entire world. So if Death Battle is going to bring me in, they better bring me in a good way against a formidable opponent. Because if it's not someone that I want to go up against, and they're just going to make me lose against, with no actual, you know, info, or any any information on that person I'm going up against, it's just going to be a waste of my time. So I hope, if I'm ever brought on to Death Battle, they give me a good opponent, and they do their damn research on me before playing the bias card. If Tekken were to cross over with... Another franchise right. besides Street Fighter. Yeah. What do you think it should be and why? I, I, me personally, I would love Tekken to cross over with King of Fighters mm. from SNK because there's a lot of characters from that franchise yeah. that would work really well with ours. And it'd be, you know, real nice to do more than what we did with the KOF All Stars collab. Well, yeah. Uh, I think there should be more. Uh, between us and SNK, personally. Um, if Tekken were to cross over with another fighting game franchise besides Street Fighter, I, I'm i kind of at a crossroads here between Virtua Fighter, our old rivals from back in the day when we first started. Like Those guys were selling real good when we first came out. Like, they were our rivals, like Street Fighter is to Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat is another um, crossover I think would be pretty damn awesome. Though, I don't think that I would be fine with somebody ripping my limbs off. <laughs> but, yeah. if I, I really want to see Virtua Fighter 6 succeed. Yeah, I do too. And... If it was any other franchise that we would go with, crossovering with, I, I also think King of Fighters would be a very great option as well. So, yeah. you If anybody is listening, yeah, that'd be great. Either King of Fighters, Mortal Kombat, or Virtua Fighter. What about Soul Calibur? I mean, they are, you know, like, basically... I was in Soul Calibur too. I don't know if you yeah, knew about that. Oh, I already you did. But, um... Yeah, I think Soul Calibur would be a great option, too. Like, that'd be nice. Yeah, it would be nice to uh, cross over with Soul Calibur as well. They got some uh, pretty badass characters on their roster that I think would be, you know, nice lining up with us. All right, all right. Good stuff. Uh, let's see here. Let me get to my uh, questions. Oh, you you uh, you have questions already lined up for the show, huh? Of, of course! Of course! Are you kidding me? No, no, I was just saying, like, I I didn't know you already had questions from people before already starting the show. Qu quiet, you. Quiet. You're lucky I'm being nice to you after you killed me. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about that on the podcast. Let's oh. talk about when I killed you. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Alright. 
I got all, I got a couple questions here. Well, a lot of questions written by other people. I'm not going to say their names. I'm just going to go by one by one. Give me short or long answers. You know, do your own Kazia thing. My Give me a little Kazia. long explanations and stuff like that. All right, all right, cool. Well, depending on the question, I will give you long or short answers. If it's something that doesn't interest me and I don't give a damn about it, then I'll give you probably a short answer. If it's something that I'm intrigued in and I would let you know, I will answer it as long as I damn well please. I'm a busy guy, Heihachi. I don't know if you know, but I'm the leader of an entire organization. Uh, I have shit to do. Um, I took the time out of my busy schedule to be here talking to a dead man. Oh, why do you always have to bring that up? Because you're dead. F fuck off, Cozy. All right. First question I have for you written on this little piece of paper. All right. First question I got here. Kazuya. Yes. What do you think of the other Tekken YouTube channels? Oh, my God. Well, you already know what I think of you, deadass. Hey, I'm not dead anymore. I uploaded new videos. Yeah. And, yeah, uh, and they sucked. Well, they sucked because it was... Okay. I was told by somebody to do a freestyle rap. All right? I, I was told by somebody to do a freestyle rap. Mm -hmm. And so, I did it. Yeah, so, it wasn't good, okay, so, I'll admit yep, it. But so, that's because it wasn't planned. Oh. And there's not a full version out yet, so you can't just be on me for that. And you even made a reaction video, like, you asshole. You even, you helped me out with that rap. And you insulted me throughout that video. Because you deserved no, it. I like, did. really? Back at it again with these raps, and then you add a, ah, uh, okay, at, well, at the end of that, like, what the... <laughs> Wait, Who the on. hell would want to listen to you go, uh? Okay, well, I went, uh, because some rappers do that. You know, like, um, uh, Gucci, uh, oh yeah, uh, uh, That's cringy. Uh, shut up! That's cringy. That's cringy, Hachi. Don't be cringy on your own podcast. Oh, you want to talk about cringy? Here, I got cringy for you. You, you, your little roast about me. No, that, that was, was cringe. That was That great. whole thing. You that trying to be some modern day trap rap what? artist, which you're. Oh, you think I forgot you? Mm, yeah, yeah, you think you're so funny, trying to be hip and cool with the kids, Kazia? Yeah. Huh? No, no, no. The reason for that roast rap video. Okay, listen. Yeah, Nina right. called me out. In her roast rap video, okay, so I responded back. And you destroyed her, yeah. I made a video about you calling you out. For what? For one reason only. It's what? Because one, you've been dead for a whole year, yeah. okay, didn't I upload really... anything, didn't mm -hmm. do shit, and when I told you to do that, you just sat on your ass. Oh, come on. That's why I did that. Mm -hmm. Second, yeah. that roast video wasn't me trying to be all hip and cool with the kids. Yeah, it was. That was me. Tr that was a wake-up call. A wake-up wake call? That's what it was. A wake-up call. A wake -up for you call. to get on your ass and make videos again. Okay, well, congratulations. You convinced me to make videos again. Thank you, Kazia, for the amazing inspiration to get myself back on YouTube. Yes, thank you. Should I be giving you credit for that? You just no. Well, you, I you, shouldn't. Well, you just did. You just gave me credit. No, I you said thank you, Kazia, for the inspiration for getting me back to make videos. That's what you uh, said. All right, all right, all right, all right. Can you lay off of me and talk about Jin or June? Fine. Or how about that Fine. other Kazia channel? Hmm? Mm. Huh? How about you talk about that? Let's talk about those channels. Come on, Kazuya. Let's talk about your dead grandpa's channel, Jinbachi Mishima, huh? You want to talk about dead Tekken tuber channels? There you go, Jinbachi. All right, all right. You made your point with grandpa. Yes, his channel has been dead longer than yours, and I feel like he'll probably never upload anything, like, ever. So, um, with June and Jin, Jin, Jin just. Upload shit posts. Um, That's all I see from Jin. Yeah, it's just I shit agree. post after shit post after shit post. Yeah, Jin does upload a lot of, lot of random shit. Yeah, there was this one video that was that's gaining a lot of popularity for, for the sake of it being a King of Fighters meme with that uh, Keo guy reaching his hand out and saying, "What a place of KOF," and it featured. Of all things, Crash fucking Bandicoot. Oh, yeah, that's right. 
That's uh, that, that's right, uh, Crash ba- Oh wait, hold on, Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a good cortex? That that, that was that was a good that was a good cortex. Very impressive. Yeah, but. That video is sitting at 4.1 thousand views. It's insane that a meme video like that could get just so popular. I mean, these days, obviously, stuff like that gets popular out of nowhere, but that's just the way the internet works. Something stupid becomes funny. It's That's how it works, apparently. That's just today's generation. Now, let's move on to your wife, June. Mm. She's been uploading a lot more frequently these days, and I'm very proud of her. I'm very proud of her for uploading more these days, because from the beginning, when you started on YouTube, Kazia, it was you and her leading the pack. How do you feel now that June is back uploading videos? It, It gives me a reason to upload again. Um... Me and June give each other a lot of shit. We argue a lot. We yell at each other, like, daily. She thinks that I've been cheating on her with Anna, Nina, you know, any other Tekken female you could possibly think of. Well, hold on a minute, because you you haven't slept with Anna or Nina, have you? Are you kidding me? No, I haven't. As despite what a lot of people say, I have not had sex with Anna, I have not had sex with Nina, and no, not anyone else. Mm-hmm. Alright. Alright, this one gets brought up a lot. What do you think about the comparisons between you and Dragon Ball Z's Vegeta? Uh, oh my god. It, it never ends. Whenever somebody walks up to me, or they see me, and they never play Tekken, or anything that I'm in, it's always the, Oh, your hairline looks like Vegeta. Oh, your eyebrows look like Vegeta. Does Vegeta have those bushy eyebrows? No. Is Vegeta's left eye red? No. Is Vegeta's body full of scars? No. Does he have the devil gene? Is he half demon? No. Whenever I hear those comparisons between me and Vegeta... The first thing that always comes to me is, <laughs> what kind of drugs are you on? Like, seriously, the similarities, they're they are not even half right at all. Me and Vegeta are not similar. I respect Vegeta as a fighter, but that's all there is. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are out of time for the first part of the Kazuya Mishima interview. Please come back next time where we continue the questions with my boy Kazia. And yeah, let's get into more shit. Um, bye bye for now. Gidia! Do ya! This has been the Hikachi Mishima King of Iron Podcast, Part 1. Thank you for listening. And tune in next time.